You are live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the United Stand. Sorry for being a little bit late. Uh, numerous reasons why, but we're live now, and that's all that matters. Um, interesting team lineup. We talked about it on the preview yesterday. And to be fair, Solskjaer has done exactly what I think he should have done. He has totally changed the team. I'm sure Liverpool fans are angry because of the team that we've put out. But at the end of the day, um, I'm not too fussed. Not too fussed because the team, as you will see uh, uh, delivering on the screen in a moment, has uh, David De Gea in it. It has Brandon Williams at right back, Twansebi and Bay at centre back, Tellez at left back, Matic and Van der Beek as the midfield pivot with Mata ahead of them, and then Alanga, Ahmad, and Greenwood as a front three. In effect, it's a very, very exciting Manchester United side. Um, and uh, very, very, very excited to see how it's going to play out. Um, effectively, we are probably giving up three points, but Ollie's taking the piss, says Master. I don't think he is. I think this is a big up yours to the Premier League, to be honest with you, because what is he supposed to do in this circumstance? What is he, uh, what is he going to do? Um, it's, uh, it, it, it's, um, it, it, it is what it is. He's, he's got to go with what he's got. That's all he can do. So uh, very, very excited to see what's going to happen in relation to the team today and very excited to see. There we go. We're all right. We're all right now. Anyway, uh, three minutes gone. Fixed bridge. We've had loads of problems today. The fact that you've got a stream is a testament to the great work of Drawty. So he deserves man of the match, really, because uh, we've had massive problems today. Um, but uh, let's see what how this goes. Let's sit back and enjoy the game. I'm up for this one now. Proper up for it. Let's see how the team gets on. Donny playing in the pivot. I thought he couldn't play there. Oh, look. Donny in the pivot. Oh, where's the Donny cultist now? Make sure you subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. But interested to see how United do here tonight. I'd be so... Look, Liverpool fans, I know you're pissed off, but it's not our fault. It's the Premier League that have forced us to do this. But trust me, I'll bloody love it if we beat Leicester. I don't want, I don't want us to throw the game against Leicester. I want us to win. Although that's a bad ball by Twansebi into... Vardy and Matic is across and when it goes for a corner. The squad needs to be these days. Williams is struggling, says White Owl. I don't want to see any of that tonight because he's going to struggle. He's hardly kicked a ball in the first team all season. I think people maybe having a bad performance tonight is not really a huge issue, is it? What's wrong with you, mate? Sit and watch the football with me if you want. Cross is in. Oh, it's a lovely finish. That's an unstoppable goal by Leicester. Castagne has scored. No, it's not. It's Thomas. What a, what a finish. Not a lot you can do there. People were talking about Williams being rusty. And United are down already. Unstoppable. There's no save. There's no saving that. We look rusty, no surprise. Rusty at the back. If the split is open very, very quickly. And where's the marking again? Oh, my God. That finish is unbelievable. Look at where he is. Oh, my life. Look at this. You need, you'd need three keepers. Look at that. Oh, the dip. It's, a, it's an unbelievable goal. <laughs> Pick that out. Pick that out indeed. It was just if you thought Adam, if you thought Traore's shot against Villa uh, for Villa the other day was unstoppable, this is unbelievable. Well, it's 1-0 and Leicester are 1-0 up. I'm sorry. I told you Flex being positive was a bad thing. And exactly what I said would be the problem is the problem. The problem is that this is a Leicester team that's played 40, 50 games this season together. The triangles, the fluidity, to, the ability to know where everybody is, the match fitness. Questions and marks about the defence, but it's a great finish. Diallo's in. He's done well. Lays it into Greenwood. Heavy first touch. Greenwood! Yes! Get in! 1-1! One, one. Mason Greenwood! Generational talent! Amad Diallo with the assist. Look who's laughing now. Look who's laughing now. 1-1, one, one, Manchester United, Greenwood, generational talent. Liverpool fans celebrate. 
We're in it. We're back in it. He's done it again. I'm telling you, this lad's not a winger. He's a number nine. He's not a winger. Lovely ball by Mata to get Ahmed in. Ahmed battles the fullback. The, the fullback falls over. Ahmed, lovely little ball into Greenwood, skips past Sionku, and it's one of those low finishes again. Oh, it's like the finish against Villa at the weekend. You think he should, you think the keeper's going to save it, but it's so accurate and so low. They're, they're so hard to stop those sorts of shots. They, he doesn't put loads of power into his shots sometimes, Mason, but he's just got this amazing ability to find the, the accuracy. Ollie's there going, yes, 1 1 Manchester United. Generational talent. How many goals is he going to get as a number nine? He's, he's he is he is generational talent. We're playing the generation game. One one game on. Look who's crying now. Oh, we're going to get battered. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. We're not going to get battered. It's one one. Oh, I'll tell you what. Who needs Haaland? We don't need Haaland. We don't need Harry Kane. We've got Mason Greenwood, Cavani for another year. It's, I tell you what, it reminds me of. Mason Greenwood and Cavani it reminds me of Yoda and Luke Skywalker. And uh, the Dagobah system is uh, Old Trafford. One more year to complete your training and you'll be the ultimate number nine. Cavani's Yoda and Greenwood is Luke Skywalker. And he's just going to complete his training over the next year. I mean, look at the difference between Greenwood a year ago and now. Physically, you know, he's adapting more and more. He's not a winger. He's a number nine. He's too big to be a winger. He's a number nine. And he's loving it. He's loving it out there with Diallo and Langer because it's like, I'm the leader. I'm the man. Absolutely loving it. It is United reserves, but it's not, it's not Leicester's reserves. This is Leicester fourth place. This is Leicester desperate to win to get in the Champions League. This is a good Premier League side. And we're knocking the ball around very, very comfortably with our reserves. So um, I'm very impressed with everybody. I'm very impressed with everybody because a lot of these lads haven't played a lot of football. So I wonder what Gary Barlow thinks. I think it's absolutely incredible, Mark. Absolutely superb. I really do like Diallo. Um, yeah. It, it reminds me of a young Robbie Williams. Anyway, tell us as it left back. Do you like the decision for Matic? I will give Ollie a call. Ollie, shut, stop talking to Karaki and listen to me for a minute. I just want to say lots of people very, very impressed. I'm not lying. I'm not bantering you. No, it's not the time at, like at Christmas when I said that you were getting Haaland. I'm being serious. There's lots of people listening. They're very, very impressed. Well done. Why can't you just take a compliment? Why are you talking to Karaki again? Don't tell McTominay to go and warm up. Nobody wants to see McTominay tonight. No, just keep these lads on. You've got a, you've got a game in two days. Yeah, just keep it as it is. No one cares if we lose. It's about it's about the performance. All right, I'll let you go. All right, don't bring McTominay on. All right, see you in a bit. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. Um, Sharp, welcome to the members club. Mark, don't forget we are, we'll have bounce from a new manager next season, says Zane. Mate, you've got about as much bounce as a dead hedgehog. You've got no bounce. I nearly laughed at my own joke then. Um, can't wait for Ricky Cam. He's going to be over the moon. You know, Greenwood's crap. Greenwood is crap. Matic. It's Matic. Matic is the player. It's Matic. I'm telling you, listen up. Matic is, is the future. I'm not joking. Greenwood's the future. Greenwood. Matic is the future. Wide it goes. Cross comes in again. Get rid of it, Donny. We're a bit shaky at the back, but it makes it more interesting, I think. Off. Give me joy. Give me joy in your hearts. On his left, on his right. Mason Greenwood. On his left, on his right, I say... On his left, on his right, Mason Greenwood, playing football the United way. It's not bad. Cavani's warming up. Give it, give it, give it to Eddie Cavani. Oh, no. Great save, De Gea. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Matic, Williams. Ooh, we're hanging on a little bit here. We're hanging on a little bit here. De Gea makes a big save again. What happens here is that United just switch off. 
Tillemans is onside. Matic loses his runner. And De Gea doing what he's good at, using his body at the front post. No front post glitch with De Gea. Fully first half and Twan said the second half. Oh, no. Leicester score from a fucking corner. You're having a fucking laugh. What's going on here? Who's marking who? It's just corners and United. It's like McDonald's and a cow. They just don't like each other. Well, McDonald's like the cow. The cow doesn't like McDonald's. Leicester like the corners. Man United don't. Sionku. Rashford. 